So this is a Jack Black skincare review. Um, oh, well, I got into skincare about a year ago. Um, and Jack Black was one of the very few skincare brands that was marketed specifically for men. Um, you know, and I remember looking for reviews on, on, the, on the brand itself and you would get, you know, you would come across a video reviewing, uh, you know, a particular product, but you would never get um, a, a review reviewing the entire, you know, the entire line of Jack Black products. So I figured I'd give you guys a review on it. Do I think it's worth it? Um, uh, so the first one, I'm gonna start off with the, with the face wash. Uh, let's let this focus. So the, the Pure Clean, Pure Daily Facial Cleanser. This one has a very strong fragrance to it. So, um, According to the to the ingredient label, it's all natural ingredients. So it's uh, the fragrance is is, a, is derived from natural ingredients. It's not synthetic. Um, uh, the fragrance can be, you know, it's it's got like a sage smell to it. So it can be off-putting to some people uh, if you decide to use it. It is a good cleanser. I feel like it, de it definitely gets it cleanses the face very well. It foams up, and um, I have normal skin. Well, like my skin is not too dry, my skin is not too oily. So uh, this one, I think it's geared more towards oily skin because it foams up. And I, I, I've been told that foaming cleansers tend to focus more on oily skin. So um, yeah, so men, men tend to have more oily skin. So I guess that's why they do it. But yeah, it is a good cleanser. Um, I would highly recommend it. It is expensive. Um, there are better alternatives, like, I wouldn't say better alternatives, but there are other alternatives out there. But this one's a really good one. Um, yeah, I got the huge 16-ounce uh, bottle of it. And I, I was using CeraVe before this one, before Jack Black. So I decided to upgrade to Jack Black just to see if I like him. So, but yeah, I, I like their cleanser. I was using the hydrating cleanser from CeraVe. And I definitely like this one better. The next one I'm going to go over is the... Face Buff Energizing Scrub. This one definitely, it's an exfoliator. It's an exfoliating scrub. And I like this one, but it can be very abrasive if you're, if you're not careful with this. So make sure you're very careful with this. You know, it does have a fragrance to it too. All of these actually have a fragrance to it. All of them have a strong, uh, you know, fragrance to it. So if you're not into fragrance in skincare, then don't buy these at all okay but i would say with the face buff it's definitely i i definitely enjoy it i enjoy using it. it it really gives you that it's got like a menthol smell to it too and and it really feels like it's it's it's, it's cleaning out those pores that you want it to do um but would i recommend this it just depends on who you are because the next product I'm going to go over is the is the power peel which is another exfoliator but it's a chemical based it's not a scrub it's not a physical scrub like this one it's chemical based so yeah you get that ting it comes in these peels and then you wipe it over your face and you get that tingling sensation when you use this you get that tingling sensation on your face and your skin and that means it's working you know don't don't think something's going wrong you know it's just it's working and i actually prefer the chemical peel over the physical scrub even though i do enjoy this one um if i had to choose if i had to do you know buy them both all over again i wouldn't have bought this one and i'm just stuck with this one i use this i, I pretty much use the cleanser every day twice a day every day once in the morning once at night and then i use this once every two days yeah i use it every two days and I use this every four days so yeah I'll use this so like let's just say I'll go you know I'll use this on Wednesday I'll wait Thursday Friday I'll use this and then the, and then two days later Saturday and on Sunday I would wear this I would, I would use this you'd use this scrub 
But they're both good. You know, you can't go wrong with either one. Just pick the one that you prefer. The next one I'm gonna review is the toner. The soothing and antioxidant toner. This, this toner has a really good cooling effect on your face. It really cools down your face, especially after you use a scrub or an exfoliator. This definitely uh, really feels like it's cleaning your face and, and it has that cooling effect that most toners have. Uh, I would, yeah, I would definitely highly recommend this toner. I, I use it on a cotton pad. I put it on a cotton, I soak it with a cotton pad and I, I put it on my face. But yeah, this is definitely uh, a good toner. Um, I've used other toners from Kiehl's and I like this one much better. This one was much better, much more cooling. It's much more, much more absorbent on the face. This one's a really good one. Next one is the Protein Booster Skin Serum. I like this one too. I mean, this is the first uh, skin serum. Actually, no, I've used a skin serum before. I've used one from Kiehl's, uh, their vitamin C skin serum. And uh, yeah, they're both good. Honestly, they're both really good. This one's really good. Um, like I said, I don't have the best skin in the world, but you know, it is expensive. Would, would, I, would I repurchase them if they were that expensive? Probably not because I'm pretty sure there are other, there are other options out there, you know? But I just wanted to give it a try. I think this one's, yeah, it's really good, you know? Um, it, it really feels like, you, you know, you're, you're bringing, you know, your, your skin is clearing out. You know, I feel, I've, I've begun to notice the difference in my skin when I started using this. So, yeah, it's definitely a good one. Then I use an eye cream. And then this one is the Protein Booster Eye Rescue Cream. Um, as you can see, I have like, in, you know, my dark circles are just insane. You know, um, I got hereditary dark circles, so they're just genetic. And there's really nothing you can do about it if it's hereditary, but you can always, you know, do your best to treat it. And yeah, I, I think this one's good. It has caffeine in it. And I don't know, because every time I use this, I actually don't use this at night. I actually have a, uh, an eye cream from Kiehl's that I use at night. And then this one I use in the morning because I feel like every time I use this, it wakes me up. And according to the ingredient list, it has caffeine in it. So I don't know if the caffeine in skincare has the same effect as caffeine in coffee. And, but like I've just noticed it. And I don't know if it's all in my head when I use this, but this one's really good. I actually enjoy this one better. It soaks into the skin, uh, especially under the eyelid area much good. Um, it, it feel, I feel like it brightens it a little bit. Um, like I said, uh, I don't, like I said, I don't, my dark circles are insane, but I feel like this one has definitely helped it. Um, I'm an Indian guy, so I naturally just have those dark circles that really can't do anything about, but you can just do your best to treat it. The next one I'm going to review is the face moisturizer, the double duty face moisturizer with SPF 20. I actually use this every morning. I don't use this at night because it has SPF in it, but I use it in the morning. Um, it, it's pretty thick. Uh, it, it, it absorbs really well in your skin. It's, it's not oily. I actually really would highly recommend this. Uh, it's, it's only SPF 20 and it is, it is, it does have a fragrance to it as well. Um, so you do have to reapply it throughout the day. If, if you decide to, you know, use just this one. But yeah, it, it's definitely, uh, I apply it pretty liberally, like it says on the, on the uh, directions. It's a good one. And then this next moisturizer I use is at night. I use this, the Dry Erase Ultra Calming Face Cream. I use this one at night as my nighttime moisturizer. So I actually cleanse, tone, serum and then I use an eye cream not this one specifically but I use another eye cream that I have and then I moisturize every single day twice a day but I use this one in the morning and I use this one at night and then every two days I'll rotate between these two exfoliators but yeah this dry erase cream it, it's it's it, it's really nice to use at night it's calming it's, it calms down irritated skin especially because you know this uh this uh, cleanser can 
can, uh, because it's a foaming cleanser, it can kind of dry out your skin a little bit. And so this could really help, especially at night. That way, you know, you're not putting on any SPF at night. But yeah, it's definitely a really good one. I would definitely highly, highly recommend all of these. You know, is it worth the high price tag? I mean, that's completely up to you. That's completely up to you. I, I definitely like how convenient Jack Black is. You know, it's a one-stop shop. It gives you everything you need. And uh, this next one is actually a body lotion. It's got a fragrance in it as well. And it's a cooling body lotion. It actually cools down your skin. When you apply it, it cools down your skin. And yeah, I really like this one. It's, it doesn't have this that greasy feel that they have. And I would, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. You know, um, if, if you decide to wear cologne, that's the problem. Because if you, this has a fragrance, to, these all have fragrance to it. So if you decide to wear a cologne, it's probably not going to smell right. Uh, if you wear a fragrance and then you wear a fragranced uh, lotion, body lotion. So if you, if you do wear a cologne, I would recommend getting a, a, a body lotion that's fragrance free. That doesn't have any, uh, I mean, these are all paraben free colorant free dermatologist tested they're all just really good you know and i would highly recommend um i'm not like i'm not a dermatologist i'm not a doctor i'm not i'm not a uh a skincare professional um i'm not an expert or anything i'm just like i said i'm sorry if this review doesn't seem like it's a more in-depth review of each uh each product if you have any questions about any of these products you know comment below and let you know and ask me the question i would be free i would feel free to answer them for you um because i know i had the uh, you know questions and like i said i'm not going to go in depth into each product and tell you what ingredients are there you can just go on the jack black website and you can you you can see yourself but yeah i i i definitely enjoy these products um if you buy this whole thing uh it's gonna last you at least uh, six months. Like I got the big 16 ounce cleanser. So it's gonna last you at least at least three months. It's gonna last you anywhere from three to six months. I looked on the Jack Black website and then they asked you, they recommended that you renew it, that you buy it again every five, every four to six months in there. So this whole thing should last you four to six months if you use it every single day, twice a day, you know. And you're not overusing it so yeah uh, let me know if you have any questions about these products and i appreciate you for watching the video subscribe like the video comment and let me know thank you